Hello everyone, welcome to EduCAD 247. This is the first lecture of NABARD special series. In this series, we'll be covering the MCQs on ARD current affairs. We'll be covering the current affairs from April 2020 to September 2020. And this series is very much useful for upcoming NABARD grade A mains examination. This is also useful for the exam where economy related current affairs will be asked because agriculture is the part of economy. On our website educate247.com we'll be updating the daily current affairs related to economy, social issues, agriculture and rural development, finance, government scheme. So you can visit our website and read the current affairs on daily basis. The first question is what is India's position in the world in terms of area under organic farming? The answer is ninth. India's rank is first when it comes to total number of farmer, but ninth when it comes to area under the organic farming. So this must be confusing, but remember that our position is ninth in terms of area, but our position is first when it comes to total number of organic farmers. In 2016, Sikkim becomes first Indian state that is fully organic and that is the first state in the world. Northeast India has traditionally been organic because their chemical use is very less. Mostly their farmers use the organic method to farm. Similarly, tribals and island territory have been traditionally practicing organic farming. But state like Punjab, state like Uttar Pradesh, state like Rajasthan, there are lots of chemical has been used for agriculture and Madhya Pradesh also. The major organic exports from India have been flax seeds, soya bean, tea, medicinal plant, rice and pulse. There was an increase of nearly 50% of organic export in the year 2018-19 and now we are exporting approx 5150 crore rupees of goods and goods to the world. So this is really important. All figures must be remembered. It can be asked in the examination. Educate 247 has launched crash course for NABARD grade A 2020 phase 2 examination. In this crash course, we will be providing 30 sample essay and 5 essays will be reviewed personally. You can write and get it checked from us. We will be providing ESI and ARD current affairs, government schemes, report and all the recent scheme and reports will be provided. We will be providing MCQs on Kruchetra and Yojana Magdine. Total 2000 plus current related MCQs will be provided. 24 cross 7 mentorship support will be there. And the course fee for this course is 999. You can visit our website and subscribe to this important course. The next question is, first Kisan Rail has been started between which of the following two states? The answer is Bihar and Maharashtra. Recently, Indian Railway has introduced first Kisan Rail and it will start from Devlali Maharashtra to Danapur Bihar. Central government in the union budget 2020 and 21 announced the Kisan rail and now they have started the first rail. This is the first ever multi-commodity train. Earlier Indian railway had run the single commodity special train like banana specials but this is the first multi-commodity trains so that is also very important point. In this kind of train, refrigerator coaches will be there. So easily perishable agricultural produce like vegetable and fruits can reach to the market in the short period of time. This will ensure agri products reach from one corner to another corner of the country in fast and easy manner. This will also help to boost farmer incomes and that is very much aligned to our doubling farmer incomes goal by 2022. So this is very important point. It can be asked in your upcoming NABARD and RBI examination. The next question is, which of the following US based organization has launched Food System Vision 2050 prize? The answer is Rockefeller Foundation. Why this is important? Because this year Rockefeller Foundation has selected Nandi Foundation, a Hyderabad based NGO for their top 10 visionaries in the world for the Food System Vision 2050 prize. And this organization has won the prize for their 
एराकोनॉमिक्स मॉडल वट इज एराकोनॉमिक्स मॉडल बेसिकली दिस मॉडल हैज बिन टेस्टेड इन अराकू रीजन ऑफ आंध्रा वर्दा रीजन ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड न्यू दिल्ली एंड इन दिस मॉडल दे फॉलो ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी एच फ्रेमवर्क एंड दैट इज एग्रीकल्चर बायोलॉजी कंपोस्ट डिसेंट्रलाइज डिसीजन मेकिंग ऑन्टरप्रन्योर्स फैमिली ग्लोबल मार्केट एंड हेड स्टैंड दैट इज इनोवेशन इन दिस मॉडल दे इंटीग्रेट इकोनॉमिक मॉडल टू द एग्रीकल्चर एंड इट इंश्योर्स प्रॉफिट फॉर फार्मर्स एंड क्वालिटी फॉर कंज्यूमर्स so this is very important it is based on the tribal farmers in araku for nearly 20 years so what they have done they have scale up this practices to the other part of the india and this is going to revolutionize our agricultural practice and it will also solve the problem of food insecurity the next question is pokalli rice belongs to which of the following indian state the answer is kerala why this is in news because west bengal recently experimented with this rice in their sea water incursion area of sundarban and they are testing this seed because this seed is salt water resistance and for that vatilla 11 varieties of pokalli rice has been used so this is also very important point vatilla 11 variety it can be asked in the examination this rice mostly grow in the coastal area of kerala like arnakulam thrissur alappuzha district so this is very important point mostly they raise this rice in the field between june to november followed by the season of fish farming so that field is full of salt water this is very unique that's why it has been given the geographical indication tag also so that is also very important point Vatilla 11 is the latest variety of pokalli rice and it has been developed by Kerala Agricultural University so these are very important point and anything can be asked in the examination so remember all the important points the next question is which day has been observed as world day against child labor the answer is 12th june recently world day against child labor has been observed on 12th june and this year the theme was covid 19 protect children from child labor because of covid 19 crisis child has been vulnerable and they can be exploited and they can be used as a child labor that's why international labor organization has put this very important theme and this day has been started by international labor organization first it was observed on 12th june 22 so that is also very important and this day basically highlight the plight of child laborers worldwide two very important convention you must remember related to international labor organization the first convention is 138 and that is related to minimum age for admission to employment and it has been introduced in 1973 and the second important convention related to child labor is ILO convention 182 and that is for worst form of child labor and it was introduced in 1999 so these are very important point related to child labor and this point is related to social issues so it can be asked in upcoming nabard and rbi grade b examination hope you have enjoyed the video if you have enjoyed the video like share and comment and subscribe to educate 247 thank you and happy learning